The Canadian men's field hockey team is back at home training in Vancouver after a trip to Malaysia where they finished fifth at the Sultan Aslan Shaw Cup. It was their best finish at the tournament in more than 15 years, but it's not an accomplishment head coach Anthony Ferry wants the team to dwell on for too long. I think we learned that the uh, speed of international hockey is, is very quick. Um, we were able to adjust to it towards the end of the tour and unfortunately the last year we, we haven't played enough international hockey. Uh, so this was a, a really fantastic opportunity for us to play against high calibre opposition. The timing of that opportunity was just right as the team is headed back to Malaysia again soon to compete in the Champions Challenge tournament where world ranking points are on the line. It's a huge tournament for us as well. It's a rankings tournament too, so there's, um, there's added importance around doing well there. I think uh, historically uh, Canada has struggled in this, in this tournament and I think um, in 2012 our result of six was the best ever result, so we're looking to build on that. Uh, we recognise the teams there are, are high quality and we understand how hard it's going to be. That's why after a week focused on recovery, the guys are back on the field training hard. Uh, we're in a pretty pretty tough training block right now so it's, it's a short little window but we've, we're back into training pretty much right away after we got back. Some tough trainings and guys are going pretty hard at the gym. So Taylor Curran was on the last tour and has been through this process before and from what he says he and his teammates are as focused as can be. I think it's, I think it's pretty good yeah I think every time you, you come back from a tour and you do all right, but you don't necessarily get all the results you want. Guys are, guys are motivated to push a little harder. So they push. As the Champions Challenge nears, the team takes part in a final strength and conditioning session at the Richmond Olympic Oval before focus shifts to the upcoming competition itself. For veteran Mark Pearson, like many others at this time of year, field hockey isn't the only thing on his mind. First of all, this week's crazy for school. I'm finishing up my last week of UBC, uh, so I got four exams this week. So I'm going to be locked in the library when I'm not uh, I'm not training with the guys. But um, generally, it's just uh, just about getting your body feeling good. So guys will do maybe a yoga session or two to, to loosen the limbs up and maybe uh, take it a little bit lighter in the gym just so you're not killing yourself before we go away. So. No, it's just about getting a good feel for the ball when you're at, at training and then just not killing yourself when you're off the field. If all goes well on this trip, Pearson will play in his 150th international match with Team Canada. It's something he knows is coming and looks forward to. It'll be a moment to reflect back on, on where I've come from and no, it's been, a, it's been a great career and I'm just looking forward to, to you know, a few more years on this team. So. Suki Panasar has been capped 11 times for Canada. And as the team prepares to take off, he reflects on the kind of play that will allow him to have a long career. I want to have a strong performance, obviously, like every tour. And uh, I, last tournament, I kind of uh, started off slow but picked it up, and I want to try to be a little bit more consistent this tour. Aside from some last minute packing, the team is ready to go. Uh, well, we're pretty anxious just to get going. You know, it's, uh, we had pretty good. Uh, last tour in Malaysia and we want to build on those results. There's a long trip ahead, but what waits for them on the other end is why they play the game, to rise to success and the opportunity for greatness. <laughs>